On January 4th, the Eureka City Council backtracked on a plan to build housing right behind me. The city originally planned to build apartments at these three city-owned downtown parking lots. But business owners complained about the loss of parking. Our business is right there on the corner of 4th and G Streets, and we located in that location because it was convenient. We have thousands of clients who come from all over and come to Eureka. They come and park, meet with us, drop things off, pick things up. Um, and so the idea that parking is particularly essential for our business, most of our clients candidly skew a little older than average, and so longer walks are more of a problem. To accommodate parking advocates, the Pearsons offered to give the city their residentially zoned, mostly vacant land located between Winko and the mall. The city would build housing on that property. In exchange, the Pearsons would acquire the downtown lots and preserve parking. But opponents of the switcheroo envisioned housing on both properties. Whether or not the city develops the Pearsons lot, someone is going to. It is zoned for housing development and given population pressures and housing pressures in our area, it's likely that this is going to be developed. I think that what we're doing is we're functionally removing three areas and a really prime part of our city from future housing development. That plea fell on deaf ears. The city council voted four to one to exchange the properties, in part because city staff determined more units could be built on the Pearson property compared to the downtown lots. As for neighbors concerned about low-income residents moving in near Winko. A little reality check here. So to be low-income, that's $34,312 a year. That's $16.50 an hour. We're just talking about working families. And I happen to think the second ward would be a great place for working families, as it is a great place for my working family. While working families can look forward to future housing at this site, some housing advocates say the property swap violates the city's general plan. They're threatening to sue over the switcheroo. Eric Black, Arcata News, Eureka.